hello now is to I'm gonna show you how to do how to use a uh, cheat engine to solve this uh, step 4 but we are going to use another way we'll be writing scripts so let's hit me to reduce the health and the ammo so the first way is the, the easy way which is you scan for AOB scan for this pattern but I put it at C8 the default is F3 so that I can demonstrate plus zero 01 then what it does is it moves the float 5000 to this address so that it will become 5000 this is one way to do it using a float in brackets followed by by using a float in brackets and then followed by the type that you want to use and then you will assign it to this whole thing this whole thing is an address containing the value for health and then you will write you will write uh, at this step 4 plus 1 which refers to this location this uh, instruction oh this will be a jump jump to injector code so this is a default way to do it the second way is here second way is you declare you will declare a, a store one memory to 4 bytes so that you can store some value there in this case 5000 and then here you use the instruction move ss move ss to move the value of 5000 to this FPU register notice this is move SS S for floating floating point so this is the second way to solve it so if I were to enable this click hit me and you get it solve it now go to the double the ammo for the double ammo we have also two ways one way is we will register uh, label or ammo DB, dbl and then also register a symbol so that you can use it from other scripts if you need to and here notice we use move sd move sd is to move uh, double and this instruction will move the double ammo which you declare here as double use dq DQ is a uh, quad word because you are using double double and then you move the value 5000 double into this location note that this label has to become has to come after new mem and code you cannot put it you cannot put you cannot put this on top here you cannot do that alright that will be wrong <coughs> so be careful 
and then uh, the rest is the same okay so now we second way is like this this is another variation so in this variation we declare uh, allocate some memory this time 8 bytes to store a new variable store 1 over here and we use dq as usual as before quad word because this is a double and then over here we move the value the value of quad word which is here coming from here into dmm into the xmm0 and notice that this time we are using move sd move sd and not move ss move sd is for double so we move it to that and then from in here you move that value into this memory address so this is a uh, variation now we try it. so now our double is 4994 we enable it and it works alright the last script is a combination of this script and this script so this this combo here is a combination of this and this right so this and this combine to become this script this script and this script combine so let's take a look at it okay so over here <coughs> okay over here you can see what we did was we copied out this part from the float for help and then we copy out this part copy in this part from the MO script and then we this part we retain the name we retain the name but this part we change the name new mem becomes new mem b store becomes store 2 now the reason for that is because otherwise we will have we will have two we will have two variables two labels with the same name so that is why we need to rename store as store2 and new mem as new mem b and then even the labels we rename this label we rename as code b we add a b at the back and this return same thing we rename it we add b at the back and then this part here is the uh, same no change this part here is for the health there's no change for that but in this part here we need to make some changes we have to rename store to store2 code uh, new mem to new mem b and code to code b so that it will not be repeating the s labels from here because here we already have a store one so here we cannot use store one use store two here we have new mem so here you have new mem b <coughs> here we have code so here we call it code b and you need 
also to remember to change your label here here no change but here you need to change to store to and then here no change new man but here you need to change to new man b and then uh, over here we return here return b and this return this return b so those are the changes other things you need to do is unregister so here there are no changes we dialog and dialog new mem and store one but here we need to change the dialog new mem b and the dialog for this is store two so those are the things you need to change okay so this is how you combine two scripts into one script Alright, so now we test the combo script. First, we reduce the health and the ammo. Then we activate the combined script. 5000, 5000. Okay, so that's how we do it. Uh, I'll put the code in the description section for you guys. If you like this video, remember to subscribe and share. Thank you for watching.